All right, this one is for uh, manga readers. Uh, more importantly, if you use uh, onemanga.com to read your comics. Uh, the thing with that is that they don't let you have a download button. Um, I'll give you an example here. You know, when you go in to read uh, your your mangas here, the, they don't give you a download button. Uh, I understand why, because they want you to do advertisement and make money off of it. But sometimes that doesn't work for me because um, I want to put in my uh, e-reader device and uh, read it from there, not on my uh, computer. Or you can read it on your computer if you like, not a big deal. Uh, the point is, um, this program will actually let you download it. Okay. So this one is called the uh, One Manga Batch Downloader. And it is a uh, Java app, so uh, it should work on any platform that supports Java. All right. Uh, so we're going to add chapters here. And it, you have a list of uh, all the mangas that they have on their um, site right here. I usually just download Naruto's. And let's say I want to download, um, I don't know, uh, three chapters here. Let me see here. These three, all right? So all you got to do is highlight them and I tell you where to go. And this stuff will fill itself out. They'll fill in the information. And it's going to put it in a zip file, okay? So that's what it's going to do. So now we're just going to add the chapters that we want. And it's going to be in the queue list here, right? Now, the, by default, they put 10 seconds because uh, they don't want you to abuse uh, one manga servers because essentially you are leeching from them without actually looking at the advertisement. Um, so just, uh, you know, don't try to abuse it. But for this instance, I'm going to put uh, zero seconds. So we're going to download really fast here. And it's going to download three chapters. Okay. So let's say begin downloading. Basically, it's going to look at the pages. And it's going to just going to rip the, the images out and put it in a zip for you. All right. And you can see it's downloading it here. And that's it, it's done, right? And now you have all your chapters. Uh, if you want to read it on your computer, you can always, um, what was that? Uh, if you have comics uh, program installed, you can actually change this to CBZ. And you can read your comics from here, like that. Not a big deal, right? And uh, that's that. Otherwise, you can use uh, Caliber to uh, convert to your e-reader or whatever, up to you. Uh, so that's pretty much the program. And um, when you download it, you have this, um, you know, the what was that the dot jar file. So to make a launcher for that, it's a little bit different. But if you already know this, uh, you can skip this part. Anyways, you want to make a launcher. Open up your main menus and. Um, uh, since it's a Java file, you have uh, this uh, beginning here, right? You have to put Java dash jar and then the path of uh, the jar file that you downloaded, and put an icon on it, and uh, that's it. You have a launcher now. So that's pretty much it for that. If you're a manga reader, you can always use this to download your, um, you know, your uh, mangas and put it on your device if you want. That's it for this one.